Introducing Stereo IO and Aux Mix, our latest audio mixing utilities for the One U Eurorack format. Stereo IO is an all in one audio routing solution for IntelliGel cases and output modules, and Aux Mix is a three channel stereo mixer with an auxiliary output bus. In this video, we'll take a closer look at their features and show you how they could be useful in your system. Stereo I.O. is an external input, line output and headphone output with Q-Feed in a 1U 20HP module. It's designed for use with IntelliGel performance and palette cases. It can also be paired with our Stereo 1U JAX modules in other systems. Stereo I.O. connects to our cases and modules using the 3-pin and 6-pin connectors on the back. The external input allows you to easily bring line level instruments, groove boxes and effects into your system. Gain switches boost the line level inputs to modular level, allowing you to process the incoming audio through your other modules. The outgoing audio from your system can be patched into the main out. This exits through the connected audio jacks at line level, making it simple to plug into a mixer, an interface or other line level audio equipment. For personal monitoring, Stereo I.O. has a dedicated headphone output with its own level control. It's also possible to use this as another output to external audio equipment. In addition to the main output, you also have the Q output. The Q output gives you a couple of extra routing options for your system. With headphones, you can choose to monitor either the main output or the Q output. And if you have more than one audio source from your patch, you can sum the Q with the main outs of your system. So that's our overview of Stereo I.O. Let's take a look now at Aux Mix. Aux Mix has three channels, all of which are stereo. If you're using mono sources, the inputs are normaled left to right. Each channel has a precise level control and a mute switch. The resulting mix ends up at the main outputs, just like you'd expect. But we also have the stereo aux send linked to channels 1 and 2. Using separate aux level controls on these channels, you can create a separate mix through the aux outputs. Both aux sends can be set independently to pre or post fader, making this a far more versatile utility. In this example, we're using the aux as an effects send, with channel 3 as the effects return. But you could use it in other ways, such as a separate monitor mix, ideal with Stereo IO's Q feed, or you could experiment with feedback mixing. Just be careful with the output levels. Soft clipping diodes on both output feeds introduce some nice saturation, so don't be afraid to crank the mix if you feel like it. On the back of AUX mix you'll find four 3-pin link connectors. These allow you to expand the inputs and outputs of both the main bus and the AUX bus. Simply connect compatible IntelliGel modules such as Stereo Mixer, MixUp, XFade and more. It's also possible to connect to the audio jacks in IntelliGel cases. Just be aware that the signal is unattenuated, meaning modular level. For attenuated line level output, you'll need a module like Stereo I.O. So, this has been a brief introduction to Stereo I.O. and Aux Mix. Both are powerful mixing utilities in their own right, and they also complement each other well when combined into one system. To find out more about these two modules, visit our website linked in the description. Thanks for watching.